Hello, welcome back everyone to Buenos Aires, Argentina. We are in the beautiful neighborhood of Caballito. Caballito, which means the little horse. Right down this street, about a block down, there is a, uh, an old tramway station. And out of that old tramway station, there is apparently a tram that runs, not for like public transportation, but just for like tourists, entertainment, the experience of riding on a tram that is like over a hundred years old. So we're gonna go do it. So come along. Before we do that, I just wanna say real quick, thank you very much for watching the video. Click the like button and the subscribe button and leave a comment down below. It's free, it's easy, and it will help the channel grow and help this content reach other YouTube viewers. All right, back to the video. All right, so there it is. I actually see it right up here. And uh, I see people getting on and off. Now this thing runs on the, uh, on the weekends only, like in the afternoon for like three hours on the weekends and that's it. And uh, it only runs on like a pretty small loop here. You can see the tracks actually on the, on the street here. It runs on like a pretty small loop just in this neighborhood. And uh, I think it's free. It's free to do, you just, uh, like they just run it just to show people what the trams used to be like and the experience. Now, the public transportation here in uh, Buenos Aires is like top notch and it's very old. The subway, the subte, I think is like, I don't know, it's like almost 100 years old, maybe even more. But it's like the oldest subway in, um, in South America. So, super old, but they also have buses that run all over and trains that run out into the suburbs. But here, they have this old tramway historico de Buenos Aires to show you what like the trams used to be like that apparently they used to run all along the streets here in different neighborhoods. It's super cool. I mean, look at this thing. I don't want to, uh, other people are trying to take pictures. I don't want to like get in their way, but I want to like get a shot of this. Look at this thing. So cool. So I think this thing is like over a hundred years old. Um, it, it runs, like I said, only on the weekends and only for a few hours in the afternoon. And uh, it looks like there's a line over here. So I'm going to try and see where the back of the line is. Pretty so. Good ask yes. Looks like uh, not too long of a line. We may actually be able to get onto this one. I think. I don't know. I don't know how many people you can fit in this thing, but we might be able to get onto this one. What do we think? Everybody looks pretty excited to ride the tram. And, uh, hola. Ustedes están uh, emocionados para, sí, para ver. Oh, sí. Oh, okay. Sí, Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. Okay, so that nice gentleman and his family told me that uh, we actually have to go over here. There is a line to get a ticket. You get a ticket. Even though I think it's free, like I said, I think it's free to ride. You get a ticket and then uh, you can ride. That actually makes a lot more sense. There's a lot of people over here. But the nice family also said they were very excited to ride the tram. And I am too, honestly. Sidewalk's a little blocked here. Let's get to the back of the line. There's a guy giving a little like historical presentation about it. And the line looks like it's actually pretty long here. Uh, we got here, I was trying to get here right at uh, three o'clock in the afternoon when it uh, starts. We ran a little late um, because as I talk about how great the public transportation system is here in Buenos Aires, the, uh, one of the trains that we were taking, one of the subway trains was like really delayed. So we had to get off and took a bus. But even though it was very delayed, I mean, we, we had the option to basically just go up upstairs, go like one block over and hop on a bus that took us right to the same place. So we'll wait in line once we get our ticket and we get on the tram, we'll check back in. Okay, we finally got about to get on the train. They gave us a little presentation back there where they explained like, um, let me see. 
little presentation where they explained the train, the history, and things like that. And then there was a guy who sold like little um, uh, souvenirs because the entire thing, the uh, Amigos de Tranvía, the Asociación, Asociación Amigos de Tranvía, the Friends of the Tranvía, the, the association that runs the uh, the service here, they it's all donations and it's all just like whatever they make off of the souvenirs. It's free to ride the thing. So we bought some souvenirs. We bought these two little keychains and uh, get to the back of the line here. And there it is. We're about to get on. I'm pretty excited for this, honestly. This is pretty cool. As as normal, we understood very little of the uh, of the presentations, mainly because um, they were right there on the corner. You can see like where the guys are standing there across the street on the corner. They're just doing it on a circle on the corner. There's traffic. Uh, you know, it's windy and and you just uh, it's hard to hear. And additionally, my Spanish is crap. So I would I would have a problem no matter what understanding. But I had extra extra problem because like you know it's just not a good it's not a good place to be able to listen carefully. Um, so I didn't quite understand much. But of course, I'm gonna do some research, I'm gonna figure out some information, and we'll probably insert uh, a little uh, voiceover with some more information about the history and the tram and everything right here. So from the research I did and what I was able to understand of the presentation, my Spanish is not entirely crap. So I understood some parts of it, but the railways, the tramways, were uh, an extension of the railways that were being installed during the 1800s. And the railways in Argentina were largely installed and uh, came from investment from Great Britain. Now, I have a whole hit, uh, video from our previous trip to, uh, to Buenos Aires about the uh, history of relations between Britain and Argentina and how it's been a little bit rocky since the, uh, the Malvinas conflict, the Falklands Islands conflict. But you can go check that out, the link's in the description. And one of the things that they did in, in order to, uh, to get more travel and more passengers to ride the tram or the uh, railways is they installed tram lines as well. Starting in the mid 1800s, around the 1850s and 1860s, and it started out small. Uh, initially, the tram cars were horse drawn, and they had a few routes in different places that would connect population centers to train stations. And eventually, uh, in the late 1800s, with the uh, implementation of electricity in the city, it, there was a real boom in the in the amount of tram lines that were that were running all over the city. And you can see from this map right here that in 1938, near the peak of the tram system, there were tons of tram lines running all over the city and outside of the city down south and north into the suburbs. The trams continued to run in the 1940s and 1950s, but they were being phased out gradually by buses, which were becoming much more popular. And eventually, the buses basically took over all the routes that the trams used to run and added additional routes as well. The last tram service was in the early 1960s, in 1962. But in 1976, the Association of Amigos del Tranvía, the Friends of the Tram, nonprofit organization was started, and they've been running these historical trams along this small loop here just to give people the experience for now 47 years. It's a really great organization and uh, I'm very, very glad that I was able to discover this and, and check it out. And there's links, of course, to their website for more information down in the description. Inside, this thing is so cool. All like originally preserved, the glasswork and the woodwork, the like wood molding along here. And up on the like these sideboards here where I guess there were the advertising, there is some advertising but there's also like little pictures, 
pictures of uh, of like different old trams. I don't know if these are all. I think these are from different cities. I think so. Yeah, I think these are like different cities. Maybe like old trams. I think one of the things the guy was saying was he was trying to like say that uh, or, or during the presentation he was saying like they're about the history of like trams in general. So like they were selling like a calendar that had different um, trams from like different eras, but not just from here in Buenos Aires, but from other cities too and other countries, which is really cool. As you can see, they're packing it in. Many many people packing in and uh, all the windows are closed of course because it's winter you know so but we're still going to get a nice view of the neighborhood Caballito as we go around on the loop now the thing is this thing takes 20 minutes to make a loop right and there's maybe 15 20 minutes to make a loop and then there's maybe like you know five minutes where the people are off boarding and onboarding the thing and we arrived at So I think he said this was this train is from 1927 and I think this train car was actually built in the United States. And we're taking off. There's the, of course, like the the cords up here, like ring the bell to if you want to stop. Of course, we're not going to stop. But were this were this an actual tram uh, doing actual tram things back in the day? That's how you would stop it. Pull that, ring the bell, stop the tram. We just cut off another car. <laughs> Because uh, we're in it, we're in regular traffic here. Like it's actually like uh, I don't know, just after five o'clock in the afternoon. And of course, it's extremely loud. Just after five o'clock in the afternoon, so rush hour. And what I was saying before, uh, man, I hope this comes through because it's very loud in here. But what I was saying before was that like we arrived a little bit late. This, the, it's only open from 3 or until 6 in the afternoons, uh, Saturdays and Sundays. But then on Sunday, it's also open, I guess, in the morning from 10 to 1 p.m., 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. And the, like, the line was already pretty long when we got there at, what, 3.45? And it took us about an hour and 20 minutes to get... Um, through the line and onto the thing and there was a huge line behind us so I think if you were to arrive I don't know like 4 30 or later you I don't think you'd be able to get on this thing before it closes because there's only one and it runs every 20 minutes and you can only fit so many people on it it's very fun it's a very fun ride it's very loud So the guy on the on the uh, tram with us was just explaining some of the 
different photos on here and the, the tram is 97 years old we got that right so we're on an almost 100 year old tram that's really cool everybody seems very happy they seem to be enjoying the ride and one of the things that they mentioned uh, back on the line when they were giving us the tour and selling the souvenirs one of the things they mentioned was that like there's a lot uh, smaller line on Sunday mornings so if you're gonna come do this here in Buenos Aires and I really recommend that you do oh, people on the sidewalk are waving to us uh, I recommend that you uh, get here like early if you're going in the afternoon don't show up at you know six or like five o'clock and expect that you're just gonna get right on um, show up at maybe like 245 and get in line and be one of the first people on people are filming us and I'm filming them um, and, uh, and and either that or come on a Sunday morning uh, Sunday morning it'll be far far less crowded as is kind of everything in Buenos Aires on Sunday the city is just kind of empty That people were filming filming us as we're going by we're filming everything outside they're filming us of course if I saw this thing going by I would probably film it too like back onto Emilio Mitre which I think is the street where we started so I think we might be getting like right back to the uh, back to the starting point made the loop yeah here's this here's the station where they uh, maintain soup day cars Especialmente cada vez que ustedes nos visitan a nosotros, ¿no? 
somos nosotros los beneficiados de su visita en este viaje. Muchas gracias, los invitamos entonces a descender por la parte de adelante, vamos bajando por la de adelante hacia atrás, sin ningún tipo de amor. Took the ride, it was a good ride. Take one last look at the train. Lo siento. Really is a very, very cool old train. Really, people taking pictures in the Norway. You can see like the the little wheel like up in front. Right there. Where people where they uh where he's driving the thing. So that was really cool. Well, like I said, it's totally free, um, but they do sell like souvenirs. They get the, you get that cool ticket, which is like a, a, a souvenir ticket, but it's uh, the same kind of a ticket that you would have gotten if you had ridden this thing. We got these, we got these two cool keychains. Uh, they were like uh, 3,500 each, 3,500 pesos each. So, good to buy them and support uh, like support the railway so or the uh, Tranvia Association Amigos de Tranvia because like without them and without uh, donations and buying souvenirs this thing wouldn't be running so um, it's very very cool the line over there I don't know if you can see it but like the line is really long still and it's like almost six o'clock so that's when this thing closes so basically uh, like I said before you can see some people coming across the street for the next ride like I said before, if you're gonna come do this, like I would get here early. Definitely don't like show up any, really any later than I did. Like I wouldn't say if you get here later than like 4 p.m. on a Saturday, you're probably not gonna be able to get on. Um, so get here early on Saturday afternoons if you're gonna do it or come on Sunday morning um, when it's gonna be less busy. But um, that was a very cool experience. Uh, I really enjoyed it. I think I'm gonna find I'm very thirsty, so I'm gonna try and get something to drink around here, and then we're gonna figure out uh, what bus we need to catch to get back to the neighborhood where we're staying. Um, and uh, I think that's gonna be it for the video. This was super cool. This combines like two of the things that I really like to see, which is like historical things and uh, like uh, nerdy public transportation things. Honestly, I'm really interested in like the public transportation in different uh, cities and how they compare. And um, you know, with Buenos Aires, a city that already has like really good public transportation system, um, it's super cool to come like on this uh, this tram car and see how it used to be, right? Riding public trans um, back in the day. This thing actually really reminds me of um, when we were in Lima, and we did a video about the public transportation system in Lima and how like chaotic it is. Uh, link to that video in the description. But this this reminds me of like right outside the um, in Barranco. When we went and visited Barranco, and we went to the uh, like electricity museum, they had one of these cars, a car that was very similar to this, right outside, on like a very short section of track, just as like a museum piece that you could see. Um, they don't run them anymore, and you know here, of course, they run this thing, but only as like uh, you know for a tourist attraction. So very cool to actually be able to not just see an old tram car like this, but to ride on it and to hear the whole history of it and everything. And, it's very cool and and to, to ride on it like with other people who are like super interested in uh, in seeing it for what it is right like it would be cool to ride on it like if you were like tr transported back in time and uh, and you rode on it as a commuter but then everybody would just be doing their commute and it would be a normal everyday thing this is like a very exciting thing and everybody was like super excited on there um, to be riding it. You could tell everybody was like real happy and excited. So it was very cool. Anyway, I've rambled on long enough. That's the end of the video. Lots more coming from here in Buenos Aires. So stick around and we'll see you in the next one.